Welcome, my Cancers. I'm back, y'all, with another video. Come on in the building. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be a message for December the 1st through the 7th. Yes, time has flown, guys. We are about to be in 2021. And I'm ready. I hope y'all are ready as well. Let's talk. Let's talk. All right. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you can be on the notification game because you do not want to miss future videos, okay? Um, if you guys are interested in spiritual products, guys, oils, ritual oils that are handmade by me, um, uh, as well as like jewelry pieces for protection and um, crystal necklaces and things that will be great holiday gifts, guys. All of those things are on the website, okay? The website is going to be in the description box below, okay? If you would like to book a personal reading with me, Right now for the month of December, for new clients, if you are new to the channel, I am running a special, guys. I'm running a special for new clients only, okay? So you can contact me via email. That information is in the drop box below, okay? We're doing the $25 reads, okay? $25. $25, okay? $25, you can get a general read, a love reading, um, or a money reading. Okay, you can ask if you want to ask a specific question, you can. If you just want a general read where you know you just see what spirit has for you, you can do that as well. Okay, eight of air wanted to jump out. Okay, Kansas, are y'all feeling stuck? Are y'all in your head? What's going on? Let's see. This is going to be for my Cancers, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus as well. Cancer, what message is there for my Cancers? What message is there for cancer, please? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, see, at the bottom, guys, we have the nine of air. All right, so this is expecting the worst. Sleepless nights, worry. I feel like y'all are in your head a lot about something. We got the queen of water. Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign like yourself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. All, all signs are here. I got water, earth, fire, and air. Okay. Um, it looks like you're trying to, you're trying to get a victory here. You're trying to get some type of victory or good news, okay? But for some reason, you're worried. Why are you worried? Okay, so let's see. All right, so let's talk, guys. We got the six of air. So some of you are thinking about moving on from a situation. Maybe you feel like it's going to be the best for you to move on from a situation or someone is moving on from you, okay? Okay. I also have the Eight of Fire. Okay. This is the Eight of Wands. This is communication coming in. This is also like things moving really, really fast. Okay. Um, but I'm I'm getting that. Then we got the King of the King of Water here. 
Okay, so this is you guys' energy. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign like yourself, a fire sign or an air sign. All like I said, all of the signs are here. Okay. You possibly want to communicate how you feel. Or you are communicating how you feel. And you're also trying to get, you know, get your feelings and your your how you feel, how you how you feel about a situation. You probably, I feel like a, some of you are trying to release. I'm getting that, like you're trying to let go of something, release. And it's constantly on your mind. You're constantly thinking about this. All the time, like some of y'all can't even sleep at night. Like you're constantly thinking about this. And I feel like for some of you, you've been keeping it to yourself. Because I saw the four of earth. You possibly have been keeping this kind of like to yourself. And you're ready to release. Like you're ready to express. You you feel like maybe you've held it in long enough. Now I feel like now you're at a place where you're like, you know what? I'm going to express this. That king of water. He's very, he has no problems expressing his emotions. The Eight of Wands is communication as well. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, say what I need to say and get it over with. Or you say what you need to say and get it over with. Say what you need to say. 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 All right. Why is the six of air here? Why is the six of air here for my cancers? Give me some clarity. Why is the six of air here? We got the hermit. And the Knight of Swords. You're tired of something. Is somebody, is somebody ghosting you and then coming back? Some you could be dealing with the Virgo for sure. I got the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit. Are you tired of someone running in and out? Or um, I'm getting like somebody's ghosting somebody, or you're ghosting somebody. There we go. The same card came out. The six of air and the six of the six of um, six of swords. It's the same thing. Some of you are moving on. There's a third party here. There could possibly be a third party. Somebody's bringing up someone's past. And for some of you, there's a Libra involved, could be, or a Taurus, Sagittarius. There's a lot of different energies here. But I'm getting like some someone could be having issues with the court system or dealing with like um, just some things that need to be resolved. Somebody's bringing up somebody's past. You're ready to get the hell on for sure, for sure. Yeah, there's some type of issue. There's some type of drama that you're ready to move away from. Okay, you're ready. And I feel like for some of you, you're, you're, you're fearing for something. Like you fear. This is a fear. Like you're afraid to either move on or you, you think about this all the time. Um, and you're just ready for it to be over with. Yeah, it's a lot of confusion. Yes, yes. Okay, there's a lot of confusion. Seven of Cups and, I'm sorry, yeah, the Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands is definitely confusion. You're trying to get away from it. You're trying to, excuse, please excuse me, excuse me, yeah, I don't want to be around this. <laughs> There's some sneakiness going on, some lies, look at this. The moon, definitely like some, some lies, things that are being hidden.
somebody's behaving like they're single. Somebody here is behaving like they're single as well. Who is this king of water? Five of swords and the five of wands. There's regrets here. This wanted to jump out. Are you guys feeling regretful over something that happened? There was some type of disagreement, some type of battle, some type of, it could have got physical. I'm not even gonna lie. Like things could have got real physical. See, yes, yeah, so I'm getting like some, you feel like somebody's talking crap. Ten of Pentacles, Tower, Eight of Swords, yeah, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, something's going on here. You may have thought something was over, but something all of a sudden happened. Okay, we got a chariot here. You could be dealing with the Cancer. Like yourself. Gemini's energy here too. You thought something was over. And you were ready to move forward. But somebody here is. Still holding on or hanging on to something. Somebody's worried about. Somebody here has like a really controlling, obsessive energy. Somebody here is very controlling. Somebody wants to control you. Could be a Capricorn. There's that Queen of Cups. There's your energy. And it's King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody has control issues here as well. Why is the Eight of Fire here? The Fool. Someone's going to start reaching out. Start calling. Saying how they want to work on a relationship or work on a partnership or business. Yeah, here they go. They're calling. See, this is the same thing, the Eight of Fire, the Eight of Wands. Some of you might decide to change your number. Somebody here is still holding on. Somebody here has not let go of something. I feel like you're over something and somebody else isn't letting this go or vice versa because i got the world card here which is saying like you know somebody here is going to start reaching out starting to communicate you know and seeing how they want to come together let's be together let's work on something together um but the chapter is closed like you thought the chapter was closed but they're still hanging on yeah like i said Somebody's going to be uh, apologizing. Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords. Somebody's apologizing. This could make you feel, you know, this could make you feel real good. I'm getting a lot of excitement that this person is apologizing. But, okay, we got the Ten of Swords. There's still some type of betrayal. And something isn't worth it. Okay, you may feel like later like something isn't worth it. And I feel like you are still waiting for something new from this person. You're waiting for the emotion from this person with that Ace of Cups. They aren't giving it to you. And it's, it's like things are just on hold when it comes to them. Like they're apologizing and telling you that, um, or this could be that you're wanting an apology from them and they aren't giving it. But like I'm getting like some of you could be the one to reach out. And some of them are going to reach out to you.
What's going on with Cancer? Give me more insight for Cancer for December 1st through the 7th, please. Yeah, whoever, who is this King of Cups? Some of you are going to also, what I'm also seeing as well, is somebody here, um, somebody here could possibly, with the tower and the ten of pentacles, like, something could out of the blue come up that is going to involve you spending, um, or you having to spend something. I'm getting that somebody here is like an overspender. Um, or has like spending issues. I'm seeing that as well. But I'm just getting like, are y'all spying on somebody? Is there a Leo that you guys could be spying on? Or vice versa? Or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Okay, I'm getting like somebody here is holding a grudge. Somebody here is holding a grudge. You guys are holding a grudge about something. I'm getting picking up on Leo's energy as well too. Ooh, okay, so you may have found out that this person, this king of cups, is a liar, a cheater, a manipulator. You found out the truth about someone here. Maybe that they were already in a relationship um, and they were trying to trap you, stick you, okay? Whew. And I feel like you're still holding on to that. I still feel like you're holding on to that. The sun card here could definitely be Leo's energy. I got the strength in the sun here. But I am feel like with the sun card too, something came to the light. Okay. Possibly about a Capricorn. Why is the strength card here? The tower. Yes. And see, this keeps popping up. The tower and the ten of pentacles. Some of y'all are dealing with Scorpio. Something pops up. You may have to pay for something. I'm seeing that. Your intuition is telling you to wait. Your intuition is telling you to wait. It's like something isn't the right time. Like it's not the right time to make a move. Somebody here is too controlling or too, e like they, they're very ego based. So you may not want to make the first move towards this person. Somebody likes to play mind games. <laughs> How this person views you, I'm going to be honest. Like the Knight of Pentacles and the Lovers, this person, it's like their love is slowly, it's slowing down, okay? I'm getting that like they're moving slow. And they're on the verge of literally like they we got the world card here. Like they're taking their time to make a decision. 
They want to make sure that it's the right decision if whether or not they're going to close this chapter. So they're tiptoeing. They're taking their time. They aren't moving. They aren't moving fast enough. They aren't moving fast enough at all. The Eight of Wands want to jump out. Someone here could be married. Yeah, and see, we got the Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune as the outcome. This person isn't, you feel like this person isn't going to change. You feel heartbroken about this. You feel sad about this. Um, you know, you're waiting for the right moment to see if you should take action. Um, you know, you're still trying to make up your mind on whether or not to cut this person off for good. But it, I don't, you know, like the King of Pentacles, this is, is it beneficial? Is it going to be beneficial for you? Okay. You're tired of asking. You're tired of telling this person what you want, what you need. You're just over it. And see, I feel like this person isn't going to make any changes. You're upset because you didn't get what you wanted out of the deal. We got the moon card here. And the magician. Somebody here could be working magic here. The magician and the moon. Um, it looks like things aren't possibly this week. Things aren't going to go the way you want it to go. And I feel like you're kind of like in the sense of feeling like, you know, alone and sad and dealing with your feelings. You know, just kind of like to yourself. I feel like you want some attention from this person. But I feel like, you know, this week. I don't know. Like, this person is kind of, like, backing off um, because they're trying to make up their mind as well. But I do feel like this person is wanting, either wanting to reach out to you or they are going to reach out to you. But you're possibly going to be expecting an apology, and I feel like that's, that's going to be the disappointing part. I don't know if this person is going to apologize. I don't think that this person, this person is very ego-based, and they're very controlling, and they like to stand in their power. So, you know... It is what it is. Let's see what they want to say. Let's see what they really want to say to you. I am so scared. I can't face this right now. They also feel like you're too good for them. They may feel like they don't deserve you. Like you deserve better than them. I do listen to what you say and try to find a solution within myself. And they are definitely avoiding this connection, okay? But see, like I said, later on, they're going to want to meet up with you. So I do feel like they are coming back around to, to reach out and communicate with you. But I just feel like you're not going to feel the change. You're not going to feel anything that's different, okay? I, I just feel like not this week. This person is, like, really in a dark place. Like, this person... Uh, you may not want to be around that energy right now. Yeah, see, they're going to come around. And but see, right now, they aren't stable, okay? And there's things that's going on in their life that they need to fix. So this isn't a reflection of you. This is a reflection of them. How they're, how they're coming towards you or dealing with, with, with the situation is a reflection of them, okay? But they are going to want to come back around and start fresh. But... If you don't put any boundaries or set any boundaries and say, hey, this is what it's going to be. This is how I'm going to move. This is what it's going to be. It's either you with it or you're not. This person isn't going to make any changes this week, okay? Let's see if we can see what this person got going on in their life. Like, are they hiding something? What's going on? What's going on in this in Cancer's person's life? Like, what's going on? What does Cancer need to know about their person? Yeah, this person is very distant. They're very distant. They could be actually at a long distance. Yep, we got Pathway. And there, I feel like there's some there's some things that they have going on that they're concerned about, okay. And that's why they're keeping their distance. Oh no, that's too many cards. What else? 
they may be keeping a distance because someone here could possibly be married okay maybe they're trying to fix things in their marriage we got journey there's a lot of distance here and i feel like they may be going through things um at home like they may be dealing with things money wise something like that something like that that's just they aren't in a stable place right now they are stable all right we got wealthy man and high honor okay they may be distancing themselves um trying to work on their money okay an official person in courtship it looks like this person has someone that it, I'm, I'm gonna be honest it just feels like this person has someone official that they may court with that they may you know I, for some and i feel like for for some this isn't for everybody but there is a marriage involved somebody here could be a side piece you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying like they're distant because they have other things going on okay they're distant because they just simply have other things going on. Okay. What message do you have for my cancer? Give me some advice for cancer, please. Thank you. All right. In the near future, any advice for cancer? Ooh. Wait. Perfect timing. See, yeah, this situation is all about perfect timing, okay? You can't rush this process. You can't, but you can't rush this person. You can't force this person. This person cannot really be budged. Okay, so you're just going to have to be patient. If this is the situation that you want to hash out or pan out, you're going to definitely have to be patient. Okay, it's all about perfect timing in this situation. Remain positive. Okay. Remain positive. We got don't stop and opportunity. Okay. So there may be a fresh new opportunity coming in for you. Okay, but something here is saying, you know, don't stop, you know, being positive. Make sure that you're keeping yourself in high spirits. This situation has to, the universe has to conspire and work in this situation, okay? This is definitely about timing. And something is telling me, like, right now isn't the right time. Don't move too quickly. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So we have forgiving and learning. Well, at the bottom, we have free yourself. Okay. So if you want to free yourself from this situation and find something new, for those of you who want to find something new, that want to let this situation go, let it be what it be, you know, find something new, right now is the time. Okay, right now is your time to free yourself from this situation. But some of you, I feel like you want to, you want forgiveness in this situation and you do want to give this relationship a chance. So I'm getting like 50% want to stay, 50% like, hell no, it's over with, I got to go. <laughs> but I just feel like, you know, for those of you, this situation is going to take some time. Okay, this is going to take some time. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you want to book a personal reading um, on, a, on a situation specifically, that information is going to be in the drop box below. $25, guys, $25 readings. I'm going to be doing that for new clients um, until I just don't, you know, until I come up with another sale. But for right now, $25 is going to be the sale, okay? 
The information is in the drop box below to contact me if you want to book a personal read. And you guys can check out my website as well. Y'all don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below, all right? Ciao for now, guys. Love y'all.